Hey there, Gascas fans, and welcome to our Tech Talk series. In today's episode, we're diving deep into the fascinating world of motorcycle suspension. It's a complex but crucial topic because, let's face it, having a powerful bike is one thing, but if you can't harness that power and keep the rubber on the ground, it's all for naught. To understand this not-so-easy suspension topic, in this episode we first want to help you to understand the difference between the two types of fork systems, open and closed cartridge. If you're more curious about how to set up your suspension, we have another video for you. We will first need to grasp some essential terms. When it comes to suspension, there are two key components. The front suspension or fork and the rear suspension or shock. Both the fork and the shock have a spring and some damping elements. The damping elements serve two primary functions. Compression damping. This element determines how fast the suspension compresses when subjected to forces such as hitting a bump or landing after a high jump. And rebound damping. On the other hand, Rebound damping controls the speed at which the suspension returns to its original length after being compressed. Achieving the right balance in rebound damping is crucial for a smooth and controlled ride. The damping elements can vary in complexity, involving different types of fluids and mechanisms to provide effective damping. In contrast to the damping elements responsible for regulating how fast the suspension gets compressed or is returned to its original length, the spring is necessary for the bike to be compressed and returned to its original position at all. Without the spring, the suspension would lack the necessary support to absorb the impacts and maintain the bike's position during static load. This means that regardless of a rider's weight, whether 60 or 100 kg, the bike's ergonomics and overall position remain relatively consistent, ensuring a stable and predictable riding experience. Now, let's dive into the heart of today's topic. We will focus on the front suspension and therefore the forks. We are having a closer look today at the two different types of front forks. The open cartridge system versus the closed cartridge system. So what's the difference between the two, you ask? Well, first, let's check the visual distinctions before delving into how they function differently. From the outside, open and closed cartridge forks look nearly identically. They have both inner and outer tubes. Here we have the open cartridge fork and here we have the closed cartridge fork. But it's when you cut them open that you start to notice the distinctions. In both systems, you will find a cartridge which houses the mid valve and the base valve. Take a closer look inside these valves and you will discover pistons, needles and shims for both systems. Like already mentioned, these are the damping elements or essential components that regulate damping. So the fundamental damping components are the same in both open and closed cartridge forks. However, in an open cartridge fork, the spring is located at the top and the cartridge is located at the bottom. This means also that the mid valve is in the middle of the fork and the base valve is on the bottom. This is the same for both fork legs. In a closed cartridge fork, it's the other way around. So the cartridge is at the top and the spring is at the bottom. The compression base valve is this time also at the top of the fork. Additionally, the damping cartridge of the closed cartridge fork appearance differs and the upper part of the cartridge in a closed system contains another spring. But there's the most critical difference. In a closed cartridge system, there's a separation piston that isolates the oil from the inner tube from the rest of the cartridge. With the separation piston and this setup, the oil in the inner tube of the cartridge is pressurized and separated. This means that no matter how high you jump or how rough the terrain is, this closed system prevents the formation of vapor or tiny air bubbles in the oil because the oil is not getting shaked and mixed so much. This phenomenon of the formation of little air bubbles, known as cavitation, is virtually non-existent in a closed cartridge system. 
As a result, the Fox performance remains stable and consistent, making it a preferred choice for semi-professional and professional riders. On the other hand, in an open cartridge fork, foaming or cavitation can occur as the oil between the inner tube and the cartridge mixes. This foaming results in a plusher damping feel, causing a delay when transitioning from compression to rebound and vice versa. Leisure or hobby riders may appreciate this feature as it allows a more forgiving suspension response. Furthermore, open cartridge forks tend to have fewer components. There is no spring in the base valve and there is also no separation piston, making them less complex and more cost-effective to manufacture. This often translates to a lower price tag for the end customer. And since there are fewer parts, there is also less to replace when something breaks or wears down in an open cartridge system. When it comes to servicing, the simplicity of the open cartridge fork results in an easier maintenance with less tools. Nevertheless, the closed cartridge fork is more consistent in damping through the whole servicing intervals as it will not mix up with pollution from the outside. Now, let's tie it all together. Both the open and the closed cartridge systems have their advantages and disadvantages. In our Gas Gas Model 24 Enduro range, we've chosen the WP Explore open cartridge system. It's a familiar system, easy to maintain and provides the average rider with optimized damping for comfort. In our Model 24 Gas Gas Motocross range, we've opted for the WP Exact Air Closed Cartridge System. Motocross riding often involves high jumps and rapid movements, demanding ultra-fast and precise damping and a perfectly matching spring. However, it's important to note that in a closed cartridge air fork, we only find one spring leg and one damping leg that works like already explained, the closed cartridge system. In the spring leg, you will find an air spring cartridge housing with two air chambers, which create the spring force needed to hold up your bike. To wrap it up, there's no one size fits all answer. The choice between open cartridge and closed cartridge fork depends on your riding style, preferences and needs. Gaskas offers a range of options to ensure you get the perfect suspension setup for your riding adventures. But before we finish today's Gaskas Tech Talk, let's talk about the suspension setup for a moment because adjusting your fork and shock to your weight, height and riding level is essential. That's why we encourage everyone to fine-tune their suspension. It's not as daunting as it sounds. Our stock suspension settings are designed for our average rider, someone weighing between 75 and 85 kg without gear and with an advanced skill level. If you deviate from this weight range or you're a beginner or pro rider, you will need to make some adjustments. You can find detailed instructions on how to do this in our other episode where we talk about the suspension setup. We hope that you now have a better understanding of what the difference is between an open and a closed cartridge system and why we chose which system for our new generation of enduro and motocross bikes. Thanks for tuning in to this episode of our Gas Gas Tech Talks. Stay tuned for more episodes where we answer your burning questions about our bikes. Anything you're interested in, please leave us a comment and we try to include it in one of our next episodes. And as always, ride safe and ride with Gas Gas.